good day to you all and welcome back to my channel my name is blessing and this is blessed on youtube channel this is a new channel or oh, not so new anyways but i welcome you to subscribe to this channel and you will not regret doing so so this video is about what is it that makes a woman is it the children is it the partner is it the husband is it marriage is it career you know i just want to dabble into this conversation because i have these two ladies that i'm subscribed to Dina Ikweme and um, Soma Aku so i saw the update by Dina Ikweme she made this video and uh, i also saw the counter or reaction video from soma aku and i learned about someone else who is jackie or something like that so i went ahead and checked her also out and so i feel like i can also um join the conversation and give my own opinion about this topic um what is it that makes a woman i think that it's all about choices like feminists like to say let the woman have the choice let the woman have the choice but in the end it seems like some choices don't go down well with feminists you know and something that is strange to me is the feminists that you expect that they should be fighting for the rights and you know the interests of the women have some kind of set goals or set lifestyles or set expectations that women who are feminists supposed to fulfill or some pathways that women who are feminists supposed to follow and uh, i think this is kind of counterproductive because if you are fighting for the rights of women women should be able to have the freedom to do what they want without criticism and i noticed that like when a young girl like Diana, who is just in her 20s decides to go straight to marry just after graduation without a career quote unquote you know a lot of people are not pleased with that it's like you know feminism is almost given the idea like she has thrown her life away by you know marrying i think there is no right or wrong way but it's just important for women young women especially to understand that your 20s is the prime of your life you are not going to have it again you know you are 20 sometimes there's the illusion that there is time time is a constant thing it's always there it's going to always be constant but you are passing through you are passing through and you are passing through very quickly so today you are 20 before you know i've done another video about this when i where i said a message to young ladies time flies and i noticed that in this day and age it's almost like everyone is encouraged you know to just do one thing you know just follow one way and it's not supposed to be like that because we come differently we come from different backgrounds there are people who come from very wealthy families they can afford to have finished university by the time they are 21 22 23 and there are people who have to struggle early in their life and by 21 22 they are even just getting into the university so you know and things come in differently there are people that maybe the person that they come to marry maybe at 18 19 will be like their helper and through that person they are going to you know get along in their life and there are people it's going to happen later on you know i think the message is more for people who have the opportunities in their 20s but for some illusion they feel like they can wait that something better will come up later and you know in the end it might not come i think there are just few people or some women this applies to or a lot of young women that this applies to and especially for women from the southeastern part of nigeria or let me say Igbo women who like to wait for a made man you know and the man has to be made has to have a lot of things you know or like at, in my opinion i feel like the southwestern i do it better like they kind of go along with each other from university like when we were in, in university i left university in 2003 and um 
I remember that a lot of people that we we graduated with, like we were in the university together, they dated each other, and you know they kind of moved on like that, and they are still couples today. But it's very rare to find something like that in, in the southeast. It's always looking for someone that is already made and then moving on with them. So, like you know, it doesn't work for many people the same way sometimes somebody really wants to get married you know to settle down but the man is not coming you know and then sometimes some somebody doesn't really care to settle down at this point they have so many things to do and suitors are coming at that very time and they don't want it and then they say you know they kind of defy it and say they are no i'm not ready and then when they are ready it, it kind of looks dry and they begin to look back like they've made a mistake but there are people that you know want it early and they get it early and there are people that want it later and they get it later you know so it just depends on choice and there are women still that really don't want any other thing more than having a family and you know tending to their family and it should be okay too you know i think that feminism is not about telling women what they should choose but helping them to understand the choices they make you know you know the impact how, how you know it might play out for them in the future there are people who married early and they are happy and everything is fine and there are people who marry later and everything is fine and you know there are people who marry early and then they get divorced and they remarry you know because they, they've learned some things or something happened you never know how these kind of things will work out and there are people who who don't even want to you know even though the nigerian society doesn't want to accept that there are people who just don't want to or who like in the western world they call them as asexual you know like they don't want any kind of sexual relationship with anyone for any purpose so there are people who are also like that you know and not to talk about you know this uh, um, same sex stuff that is also going around so um i think that whether it be marriage that you choose or you choose career or you are doing both of them you know there is the illusion that you can have it all but i think in one way or the other something have to give if you are doing your career and you are having your children you know it's going to be a lot of stress especially if you don't have have help that is helping you know the children will have to stay longer in school and stuff like that uh, we have to be in the care of someone else uh, and in nigeria maybe they will be in boarding school so because of this a lot of children grow up to have detached men for their parents like you've provided everything for them but they don't really feel you they don't have that connection to you because you were not present you know you were just kind of distant to them while they needed you most and stuff like that and um feminism is supposed to be like i said for the right of women so if it's going beyond that to talk about many many other things i think as african women they should actually look into it you know because um people who are coming from the west they have a lot of choices you know and they have a lot of chances because like in the west having children outside wedlock it's not a big deal so people can actually have children in their teens or early 20s and then go back to school you know and still then later on have all their careers everything and some people who can just be walking and you know there are so many possibilities for people who live in the world but for people who live in nigeria there there are not so many opportunities because you it's very difficult for you to have a child out of wedlock in your things it's going to be a very difficult life you know and if you are going through university and you get pregnant and have a child it's going to be very difficult because you don't have the opportunity to work while you are going to school so there are so many facets to it that it's very very wrong for anybody to be you know say any particular route if we want to say uh, is the family or is the career we must also remember that some people may not be able to have children later on in their life so most marriages is because of children so 
especially for African marriages, it's very impossible for you to marry somebody and not be able to have children, to give the family children and, and still have a peaceful home. Or like in the West, that it's possible that, you know, it can be understandable that you tried your best, you just couldn't conceive. So um, if you say marriage defines a woman, it does because when when you are married uh, then you have that status you know if you say children de- defines a woman it does because when you have children you are a mom so you also have that definition if you say career defines a woman it, it does because if if you are a professional you are a doctor you are an engineer you are an engineer you are a doctor you are a lawyer you are an accountant you are a businesswoman whatever a career you are pursuing is also defining you you know and if you say that you are a, you know home stay at home mom it's also a definition for you because it's a lot of work keeping the home children coming home to warm house to food to clean house to the husband coming home to a warm house you know and so i think women should stop judging each other and stop putting each other in a box um rather the women should encourage each other and let each other understand the implications you know in something that also um touched me when i, I watched jackie's uh, video she was saying something about where is the pressure on men you know and it's true there's no pressure on men especially because biologically men are still uh, reproductively able to continue even later on in their lives but all the same it's for the woman to know what she stands to gain or what she stands to lose or you know uh, understand where she puts set her mind how it might you know the possibilities of all the ways it can play her. and for her to make her choice and whatever her choice she makes it her choice you know if she decides to stay at home so be it if she wants to do career and her family so be it if she goes out of school straight to her husband's house so be it if she doesn't you know and um, something again that Dana talks about is about divorce and you know lack of compromise and what um Jackie was saying, you know, being second class and stuff like that. I think um, as African women, it's very important for the women to cut some slack for the men because African men are going through a lot in the world today. And they have so many things to contend with at their workplace. So most of the time, it's only their homes that they have some respite. So um, sometimes uh, there is a lot of emotional transfer of aggression and stuff like that but that doesn't mean that um, you you should condone violence or you know anything that is going to be working against your own personal health and because you you also need to be there for your children you didn't have the children so that you can die and leave them you know of course according to how god pleases but as much as we can, we try to do what we can to safeguard our lives. And if there is violence and somebody, somehow the marriage is not working out, it's not something you are going to kill yourself about, you know. And that is something that the women should also stop judging the women and saying she's a divorcee, she's a single mom. We all know how something like this can happen. Somebody who is diligent, just wants more thing, they get pregnant, they become single mom and they get denied and they have to go through a lot of trouble. Or, you know, somebody goes into a marriage with all their hearts and goodness of mind and, you know, they get another bargain. Why should they be judged if they want to move out, you know? So I think women should just take it easy on each other and judge less and uh, not see somebody as a single mom. Just be there to help your sister, let the woman, your neighbor, uh, you know, some people even take it for and say married women, single, you know, that kind of a thing. A woman is a woman, a mother is a mother. It doesn't matter whether she's staying with a man or whether she's single. I personally think that for a Nigerian woman to leave her husband, I, I, I feel that she's such a victim because the Nigerian woman has been socialized to such an extent that she, she will 
before she will leave her marriage, you will know that something like her life is really at stake. So I don't judge any Nigerian woman who leaves her marriage, honestly, to be frank with you. So are there some exceptions to this rule? Of course there are exceptions, but it's not for me to judge, you know. So it's for me to give support where I feel is necessary. And uh, I feel that at the end of the day, if you have your children with you, whether you are with the man or you are not with the man, it's still going to be very valuable to you. So I feel that if feminism says it's about women's welfare, women's rights, let it be that. Let there be no judgment. Let there be no uh, push or some kind of passive aggression to follow some certain pattern. They, they shouldn't push any agenda aggressively for the women to follow. Uh, let women be free to make their choice and let their choice be acceptable. Let their choice not be judged. Like I saw some people bashing Dinah in her video and saying, oh, she's trying to justify herself because she has no career and she got married. You know, that's judgmental. That is wrong because if you are feminist and you you are fighting for the right of a woman, why should you judge her for the choice she has made? Because feminism says women should have the choice. Then let the woman choose. And if the woman chose to go and marry without having a career, so be it. If the woman chooses to, you know, go into a career without marrying, so be it. However, choice is choice, you know, or or not. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. I personally, I am not a feminist. I consider myself a humanist because I have male children, I have female children. So I feel that what is good for the goose is good also for the gander. I don't feel that you should neglect one for the other. I think that um, there is no need to be in combat mode between the sexes. I, I feel that the best is to find some kind of harmony. And uh, I'm a humanist because I know that even as much as men are being bashed for being bad, there are a lot of women who are very vicious, you know. And we have seen it in women who do terrible things to their maid, to their helps. Those kind of women, they are ter terrible human beings. And if they could do that to helpless people, you know, they have a very, 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 very vicious mindset and they can do evil also to the men in their life so and so we have also seen there are men who are capable of anything who are beast in human nature so it can go both ways so i feel that as a humanist i fight for the right of the female for the right of the man and you know for harmony for the human for the human race for humanity to have some kind of harmony you know uh, as much as possible even as the bible says as much as it depends on you be in peace with everyone so this is my own motto i don't like too much you know aggression and everyone going to one route and saying this way or the highway no i believe in freedom you know and that freedom should remain for the women who choose to marry for the women who choose to stay at home for the women who choose to go for a career for the women who choose not to have children for the women who choose not to marry for the women who don't want children you know so if it is your choice so be it if you think it's gonna make you happy so be it if you think you want marriage and you are not sure do you want it now do you want it later then you can listen to the opinion of people who tells you things like time flies, what you have to do, do it now. And if you feel that you you don't care, however it is, you take your time, you know, you set your own pace, so be it, you know. So that's all I want to say in this topic. If you have contrary opinion, please do leave your comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And for now, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Peace <laughs> out.